Say it isn't so, the New York Rangers fell to the Los Angeles Kings in overtime in Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Final with a score of 3-2. to two. It was painful. This came after they lost an early 2-0 lead and lost steam during the third period with only a few shots on goal. But is all lost for the blue shirt faithful? No, says WSJ Sports Editor Matt Oshinsky, who joins us with the details. Great to see you. Thanks for being here. Of course. I have to say, all attempts at being an unbiased journalist out the window. I'm a huge Rangers fan. I was mm -hmm. devastated at the results of Game 1 last night. But you say it's okay. It, it could be okay. Uh, you know, Rangers fans will remember that they lost Game 1 of the 94 final by the same score, also in overtime. Right. So if history is any guide, this should be all right. But what went wrong with the Rangers? How did they lose that lead? Well, you know... What went wrong is what everyone was sort of afraid would go wrong from the beginning, which is that they just weren't able to play enough defense to hold off the Kings, who are an extremely powerful team. Uh, as you mentioned, they didn't get many shots off in the third period, and the Kings had 20 shots in the third period, and it was a miracle the Rangers even made it to overtime. And so what did the Kings do especially right? Well, the Kings, you know, the Kings are known as a high-powered offense. Uh, and so what they did is they just kept constant pressure on the Rangers. You know, in the third period, it was a domination. And if not for Henrik Lundqvist, who, you know, is one of the better goalkeepers in the game, the Rangers wouldn't have gotten to overtime in the first place. Uh, so they can be glad that they were able to withstand mm. that kind of barrage as long as they did. So was the speed there? The Rangers are known for their speed, their defense. Was all of that there? I mean, more or less, yeah. Uh, you know, as you might know, you know, the, the thing that happened in overtime was a really a bad defensive mistake. Um, and one of those against Los Angeles, and you're going to pay for it. And that's, that's what happened. So did the extra rest, do you think, that the Rangers had, did it hurt the team? Can you I get a little loosey-goosey with too much rest? I think extra rest is a little bit of a red herring in sports. Mm. You know, I think when you're, when you're playing in the final series, the championship series, these guys are professionals. This is what they live for. They've both played a lot of playoff games. Mm -hmm. I think it's really, it's other factors that are more important. So last time the Rangers and the Kings got together... There was a brawl, wasn't there? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, these these teams actually have been have been remarkably civil leading up to yeah. the series. Um, it's nice to see. Yeah. You know, I think you know. I mean, hockey is kind of a more civil game than it used to be. Right. When you know, when we were younger, it was sort of an all-out brawl. I'm so glad to hear that. Actually, that's <laughs> one change I'm all for. Well, Matt, thank you so much. We'll certainly be watching Saturday night for sure.